Hey everybody. Okay, so here's the Corsair Capellex H115. Um, uh, what I'm, which is the one that I'm using for my Intel Core i9 13900K. So I want to show you the temperatures. Okay, so let's play a game. So here we are on Witcher, uh, Witcher 3, next gen, blah blah blah. I'm using DirectX 11, so it, it doesn't crash and all that. Uh, but you can see the temperature. You can see the temperature, the average temperature, uh, at the top. Well, the average temperature it wasn't the, the package one. Um, so you can see between what uh, 60 and 80, 60 something and 80. Obviously, there's some bursts that you get there. Um, yeah, there we go. So you, you saw an 83 there. Sometimes you get a burst. 91. Okay. They only last like a second and then they go down. Okay, let's see if we can push the temperature a little bit more because I actually started the computer a little bit a while back. So um, I want to make sure that it's getting we're trying to get it as hot as possible here. I was also recording and I was also encoding uh, with um, KDN Live at the same time. So th this is the, the, like, I'm trying to get it the worst that it could be. I also ran uh, Geekbench on it and it didn't, it didn't actually create any uh, a lot of heat. So here you can see the temperatures. Here's another one. Okay, you can pause the video to 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 look at the temperature. Seventy something I saw there. Yeah, seventy two here on this one, just on that core. Ninety something. That that was the burst that we saw there. On the video. Well, but here you get an idea. You basically get an idea of the temperature that you're going to be getting with this um, Corsair. So here's the Corsair that I was talking about. Uh, H, I, uh, sorry, H150i, the Elite Capellix. I'm using a 360 uh, because of space. Uh, there's a 420. If you have the space for this, your case, awesome, awesome for you. Um, if you don't, you can go to the 360 and you can actually see and appreciate the, the actual temperature that I'm getting uh, with this puppy. I'm on Linux, so. So hopefully this should give you an idea of what to expect with this cooling solution. Thank you.